Ahem. Let's not forget. Love the sinner. Hate the sin. I was standing outside of a Planned Parenthood looking to pick up chicks when the telephone rang. Who is it? I said into the telephone. It's me, Mr. Blugenstein. Oh, no, my boss was calling me on my day off. But Mr. Blugenstein, I'm trying to find the future mother of my children. This is important. You have to come on down. But I'm, I'm at church, I responded, lying, feeling frizzled and unkempt. No. Well, then you don't have a job. Mr. Blugenstein hung up the phone. I'm assuming he used one of those old cord phones that rotary phones like the rotisserie chicken oh yeah but i ran back down to work and and begged for my job back like a dog i got on all fours i stuck out my paws that i'm a wolf furry so that's how i refer to it as my hands he said fine i'll let you keep your job on one condition you need to do something for me you scratch my back i'll scratch yours Oh, boy, could you rub my belly instead, I said, because, again, wolf fetish thing. No, he said. He opened up a vault. I could see inside there were two King of the Hill VHS tapes with $2.22 stickered on them. Oh, boy, that's my favorite. Sh Not that one, he yelled out, even more frizzled and unkempt than I was uh, on a hot Friday night outside of the disco. Uh, <sighs> he handed me a VHS tape that said, Bluey lost intern recreation of a dog fight. What? I said. It, it, was, this, was this truly the lost episode that got Michael Vick famed Atlanta Falcons and Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback imprisoned? I shouted so loud that I was surprised that I could hear it and not just dogs. Go watch it or else they're going to be sniffing your anus like every other dog and chasing after your tail for the rest of your life. In the unemployment line... Oh, boy, I always wanted to live off of government insurance, I said out loud. I went to the company vending machine and ordered a delicious Choco Taco and also a taco that wasn't Choco. They also put those in the vending machine. Unheat, mind you, but I don't mind eating raw taco meat, taco shells, taco refried beans, taco relanos, sauerkraut. What the... Oh man, I think I was talking. Oh yeah, yeah. So I so I sat in the break room and I threw the choco taco and the non choco taco together as one and chopped on down. The VHS tape began to play as the traditional Bluey themes. That just kidding. I don't know what the fuck the Bluey theme song sounds like. You think I know what if Bluey even has a theme song? Let me let me make something clear to you. Bluey is a PBS kids show starring a six year old girl dog named Bluey Healer. Now mind you, if she's a six year old girl dog who later turns seven years old, may I add, she is now like in her fifties. In human years, if you think about it, the dog year, human year thing, she's friggin' like late middle age, like entering her freaking senior years. She's got a brother named Bingo because these people steal shit from old McDonald out of farm and can't think for themselves. And then their dad is an archaeologist who digs up bones because he's a fucking dog. Isn't that funny? I don't even want to talk about this anymore. It's so damn dumb. Anyway, the episode began. They they were in Newport News, Virginia, my hometown. Uh, they were at, they they were at a dog fighting ring. This this was very bothersome. There were all sorts of dogs there: Jack Russells, Beagles, Dalmatians. Your mom. They were all there fighting each other biting each other, hissing and scratching and chomping and shitting. I turned off the tape. I turned off the tape and then I attempted to go inside of the VCR. It didn't work. I took the tape and I gave it back to my boss and I said, boss, I I'm, 
I'm just not comfortable watching this anymore. I, I, I don't even want to have a job anymore. Fine, he said. But I have something else that you can do with your time. But I wanted to live off government insurance. No. Anyway, my boss got me a new job working at the pound. I will say it's a very, very saddening job. A big reason why it's so sad is because I weigh 576 pounds. And whenever I say the pound, I kind of want to say it 576 times as a sort of self-flagellation because I can't stop eating and it's my fault. Anyway, I, I went on Wikipedia after coming home from work one day and I looked up Bluey. There was nothing on Wikipedia itself because Wikipedia is a shit website, but eventually I was led to an old 1990s AOL bulletin board system from a man who claimed to be a time traveler named Alex Cho. The gentleman claimed that this episode of Bluey Healer was created by New England Patriots and Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Buccaneers seven-time Super Bowl winning quarterback Tom Brady as a way of getting back at Michael Vick for drinking his special juice Space Jam style in an attempt to win a championship. But Michael Vick never even played in a championship, so I, I realized I was just being trolled and I don't know how that message got on 1990s bulletin board system. Oh, shit, he was an actual time traveler. Alex Cho appeared in my bedroom in, in, in a time machine device. Now, I know what you're thinking. A time machine device must be some sort of special Weschel machinery. But no, it, it didn't look like Dr. Wiley's UFO or a shoebox or the clitoris. It... It, it it looked like a by plastic fold up poker table that I play by myself at night and pretend I have friends. Good news is I I don't lose any money. I don't gain any either. But shut the fuck up. I love off government insurance now, buddy. You need to come back in time. There's something that 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 goes wrong with your with your future. What could possibly go wrong? I said, imitating my favorite cartoon character of all time, Bubsy Bobcat. You have sex with a dog. What? I said, super unkempt to the point I could have been a superhero named Super Unkempt. I, I don't know. I had a third leg sticking out of his navel that he used to walk around on that leg in particular as if he was a on a unicycle like a clown on a unicycle headed to a cemetery to delight the children or holding a birthday party there with a bouncy house right sitting right on top of great grandma's grave I, I need to see a therapist what the fuck am i talking about so anyway we hopped into the time machine and we went back to 1972 I'll admit the cotton candy was pretty sweet. We went to a circus in case you didn't figure it out. It was at that point that I saw it. A blue dog with with eyes that mesmerized. The dog's eyes twirled and sent me into a crazy hypnotic trance. You are going to go back into the future. And you are going to stop it all from happening. You are going to stop dog fighting rings from occurring in the future. You are going to keep Michael Vick from playing professional football. And you are going to say the word of the day on Pee Wee's Playhouse. I did manage to do all of that, but I, other than the last part, uh, it's a little bit too hard. Did you know that Pee Wee Herman, a.k.a. Paul Rubens, was actually a guy who intended on being a role model, but he was just too fucked up? Yeah, he wanted to be a good role model. I mean, that's why you don't hire an adult entertainer to run a children's show that's that's fucking crazy anyway I, I convinced michael vick to, to to take a job at the local white castle instead and instead of uh, fucking a dog i ate a bunch of white castle sliders now admittedly i did I, I do have the runs a lot but that's much better future than what would have happened instead Oh, as for Bluey, it did get made regardless that that lost episode, you're never going to find it. Now, believe me, it did exist on the alternate timeline. If you really want to watch it, there is one hope, and that is if you believe in the multiverse, like Stephen Hawking suggested, there's, there are different universes for everything. And if you hop into the right one, you'll, 
you'll end up uh, in the one with that VHS tape. But uh, just between you and me, uh, the multiverse is a real shit theory. It, it's not real. It's just uh, created by some crackpots who don't want to believe in God. Well, fuck you. God is real. Yeah. <laughs>